be uh, stopping at Houston today for uh, an overnight stay and taking off tomorrow morning, heading west to Biggs Army Airfield in El Paso for a fueling stop, and then on to Dryden Flight Research Center at Edwards Air Force Base on Thursday. From there the next morning, they'll take off, fly around California, and end up between 11 and noon at Los Angeles International Airport. Shuttle carrier aircraft and Space Shuttle Endeavor lined up on runway 15 at Kennedy Space Center's shuttle landing facility, prepared to take Endeavor aloft once again. Shuttle Carrier Aircraft Commander Jeff Moultrie, Pilot Bill Rickey, and Flight Engineers Henry Taylor, Gary Ash, and Larry LaRose about to embark on the final ferry flight from Kennedy Space Center. Once airborne, the shuttle carrier air aircraft will make a tour around the Space Coast at about an elevation of 1,500 feet off the ground, flying about 210 knots. It will be a majestic sight to see.
Hundreds of onlookers are gathered at the shuttle landing facility. And thousands more outside the gates of Kennedy Space Center awaiting the departure of Space Shuttle Endeavour and NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft on the final ferry flight of the shuttle program. And we have first motion, the shuttle carrier aircraft and space shuttle Endeavour beginning to thunder down shuttle landing facility runway 15, heading to the southeast, taking to the skies for one last time from Kennedy Space Center. And wheels up unofficially at 7.22 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Space Shuttle Endeavour soaring atop NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft, about to begin a 20-minute flyover of the Space Coast area. The aircraft will remain about 1,500 feet above the ground. Turn toward the coast, conduct a flyover of Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and then head south down the beach. Where onlookers are gathered NASA television will cover this entire uh, flyover as best we can. The shuttle and the shuttle carrier aircraft will head to the south and out of range of our cameras, but then we'll come back toward Kennedy Space Center for one final pass over the shuttle landing facility in about 20 minutes. During this flyover, the shuttle carrier aircraft will continue south along the beach toward Patrick Air Force Station or Patrick Air Force Base and then turn inland and fly north over the Indian River heading back toward the Kennedy Space Center visitor complex and back to the shuttle landing facility before wagging its wings and turning north and then west and on toward Houston.
just after sunrise here in Florida. Clouds in the sky. Rain offshore, but not expected to impede this flyover of Space Shuttle Endeavor. The shuttle carrier aircraft is making its way south above the beaches. Cape Canaveral, Cocoa Beach, and on down toward Patrick Air Force Base. And we're looking at a view from the beach as shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour about to fly overhead. Breaking through a low cloud layer, here comes shuttle carrier aircraft. It's accompanied by the Pathfinder and a NASA T-38 jet, a trio of aircraft making a flyover. A group of onlookers on the beach taking a look at Space Shuttle Endeavour passing by for one last time. But for residents of the Space Coast area, Space Shuttle Atlantis will remain and will be on display at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. It will make its move from Kennedy Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building on November 2nd to the KSC Visitor Complex and uh, residents of the area will be able to visit Atlantis whenever they choose. Scatter scattered clouds and a uh, broken deck of clouds in the area this morning making it difficult to track the shuttle as it continues its path down the beach. But we'll certainly be able to pick it back up as it turns north and comes back toward Kennedy Space Center. 